This is what $54.6 million buys you in New York City. Starting our tour in the entry lobby where we have Neo Art Deco style inspired finishes leading down the hall to the building elevators which take us up. The elevator leads right into the foyer of this duplex apartment and what's behind those two doors is one of the best views in the entire city. Check this out. Welcome to the great room. We are perfectly centered on Central Park looking north. This view is the best view of Central Park of any tower on Billionaire's Row. I mean, it looks like the park is here in the great room. And it's only from down here in Central Park that you can really appreciate how colossal that this tower truly is. Standing over 1,400 feet above Manhattan's Billionaire's Row, this building was constructed in 2021 on a site that is only 60 feet wide around the original Steinway & Sons headquarters that was built in 1925. Now I want to talk about the views because this truly is dead center on Central Park. This building was designed to really feel like the park is inside your apartment. Looking up north, you have a sea of green with a view of all 834 acres of Central Park. Zooming it in, you can see people hanging out after work, lounging and playing in a freshly mowed sheep's meadow. Looking even further north, you can see the rowboat pond and the reservoir, those pristine views of all of the Upper West Side, the George Washington Bridge, and in the distance looking up into the hills of the Hudson Valley. On over to the east, you have the entirety of the Upper East Side, Harlem up there to the north, and on a clear day like today, you can even see all the way up into Connecticut and the Long Island Sound. Not only do we have the northern views, we have this nice corner moment here where we have views of the west with the sun setting, Hudson River, especially at golden hour, like right now we're getting into the prime golden hour. And additionally, we have these narrow windows throughout the building. So you have so much sunlight, even though we are facing north, you have that western light coming into the space. Now, as far as details in the gray room, it is 50 feet long. The ceilings are 14 feet high. So you have 14 foot panes of glass here, floor to ceiling, no obstructions of your view. As far as details inside, below our feet, we have solid oak, which has been smoked in this intricate inlay design here. It is open concept, so at the far end, we have your dining room, seating for 10, and then again, you have another corner moment where now we have views to the east, so your sun rises. The best thing, in my opinion, about this corner is if we're looking down, we are right on top of the Plaza Hotel. In my opinion, one of the most famous landmarks in the city, and we are well above it. The perspective from up here, it, it never gets old. This is now my second time checking out this space, and it, it just keeps getting better and better. So from here, I wanna take you back into the foyer and break down some of these details. So below my feet, we have a white macabre stone here on the floors, and then that spiral staircase leading up to the second floor. This is actually the in-house elevator, so this just serves the penthouse. And I wanna break down the details. So right here, this is actually the hinge of a Steinway piano that they've put on the doors, just keeping with the heritage of Steinway Tower. And speaking of the tower, these are hand cast bronzed handles that are modeled exactly after the tower on every single door. So these are the pocket doors that you saw in the beginning. These are the same finishes on every Steinway piano. And if you notice, they run the entire length here all the way up to the ceiling. For a frame of reference, the elevators we came up in, off to my right here, this is the entry powder room. And look at this powder room. This is a honey onyx on the floors and then about a quarter way up the wall with a standing honey onyx vanity. And if you look, this mirror runs up the walls and the entire ceiling around the other side. Out of this bathroom, we have those northern views, but in my opinion, what's even more impressive are the southern views. So again, we have these pocket doors which could close off the space, and we have southern views of the entire city. So for the southern wing of the house, we're gonna start off to my left here, where you have the home office, 
with again, those views of all of lower Manhattan. And I also love how you have those little sliver windows facing west, so you have that light just filling up the whole space. Then on the other side, we're now gonna enter the open concept kitchen. First off, we have a breakfast bar here, again, with the views, and here's the kitchen. Starting off, we have a crystal white quartzite on the countertop with that waterfall edge down to those oak floors, and it also goes on the backsplash. I wanna point out the cabinets because these are meant to mimic piano teeth, the actual keys of the piano for the cabinets. We have Gaganau six burner cooktop with my favorite, the pot filler. Making our way down, we have the main sink here, nice trough sink. LED lighting underneath, gagging out sweet again here with the oven, stainless steel, massive refrigerator freezer combo. The typical, what you would expect in a $54 million apartment. Coffee maker, oven here, the prep sink, more of those piano keys on the cabinetry. So the kitchen actually then connects to the dining room great room so you have easy access for service when you are having a big meal here. And I also wanna point out on the other side, we also have another one of those very narrow windows to let in that sunlight in the morning but not for the good stuff, for that opening shot. So back through the kitchen, we now have our southern views with, in my opinion, one of the most unique terraces that I've come across in the city. This is your 309 square foot southern facing terrace. And a lot of times people are wondering if your neighbors can see into the apartment, but as you can see, the entire building has reflective glass. So all you see is a beautiful reflection of downtown Manhattan. And again, these views, you have the entire city at your fingertips. Now speaking more on the exterior of this building, it's capped by a 300 foot tall decorative steel crown. The building is designed by Shop Architects in a Neo Art Deco style, featuring feathered setbacks and residential terraces, like the one that I'm standing on right now. The building is clad with glass on the northern and southern exposures, optimizing the views, and it has these beautiful glass terracotta panels and bronze finishes on the eastern and western exposures, which causes the building to shimmer as the light changes throughout the day. This terrace is also 50 feet long, and as you can see now, if you are brave, you can stick your head out the side here and get a view of Central Park. So you can get pretty much Northern, Southern, Eastern and Western views from this apartment. The first time I came up here and I stuck my head across there and I saw that I was like, oh my gosh. But just for perspective, you can see how expansive this terrace is. And as far as those views, I mean, you have the entirety of Lower Manhattan. You even have the East River on a clear day. You see the ocean from here, Hudson River, Jersey, Hudson Yards, Empire State Building, One World Trade Center, the best views in the city, even the Statue of Liberty. It's a little hazy today, but you can see the Statue of Liberty on a clear day. You'll see it at night. And I think it is really the best of both worlds that you have those Southern views and those Central Park views. It's something special, this building. It really is. After you. As I grabbed my sunglasses, my parking slip fell out of my pocket. Could you imagine? Whew. Anyway, heading back on in, we're now gonna head back to the main foyer. And I'm gonna show you now this staircase. So this is a custom staircase, spiral staircase, again with that white macabre on the stonework here heading up to the second floor of this duplex. Having stairs in a New York City apartment is one of the rarest things, but to have a spiral staircase with this stonework on the floor, it's the next level. So here's the landing on the second floor. And if you pull back, these again are the two elevators that service the entire building. And then this is the one for the apartment. So if you don't want to take the stairs, you got an elevator. But we're gonna now check out the guest bedroom wing and immediately you're just greeted with those views again. So here we have two guest bedrooms. We're gonna check out this one first off to my right. Decent size here. As far as the materials, we have that oak on the floors again, those views again, and light coming in from the west. 
Let's peek into the bathrooms here. All of them have ensuite bathrooms. Now, as far as materials here in the bathroom, we have Cristallo stone on the shower, the vanity, the floors. We have custom Studio Schofield design bronze fixtures cast by P.E. Jurgen. Right across, we have another guest bedroom with those beautiful views here. And the bathroom has the exact same finishes as the one we just saw, except we have a walk-in steam shower in here. So same, same, but different. But the main thing, again, is the views. Imagine waking up with that view. So back out into the second level foyer. Again, you have another shot of that beautiful staircase here behind these two doors. Welcome to the primary suite here in Steinway Tower with your bedroom dead centered on Central Park. Comment down below, would you rather wake up to the southern views of downtown or to Central Park? I'm kind of torn right now, but I'm leaning towards Central Park just because look at that. Something I want to point out is there are no TVs in this space. It's been staged with no TVs just because the views, the entirety of the park, all the Upper East Side, looking up the Hudson River, especially as the sun's setting, and there's more to see. So we have pocket doors here. This was actually another bedroom that they turned into the primary suite here. So this is staged as another office. And again, we have another corner moment here where we actually have a Western exposure. So we're getting that golden hour sun right now at sunset and just watch how it fills the space up. Even though we're facing north, we still have natural sunlight coming into the space. Again, the materials are all the same. So the floors are oak, everything's the same. This is the first bathroom in the primary suite with onyx everywhere. The floors, the walls, you've got a steam shower with a rainfall shower head, all brass here on the fixtures. And again, another one of those windows. And I think that's such a beautiful design feature, having those windows on the west and the east to have light into the entire space. Beautiful bathroom here, which then leads into the first closet heading across. They call this the morning kitchen, and I really like that term morning kitchen versus a wet bar. Morning kitchen, new term here. From the morning kitchen, we have the second bathroom in the primary suite here in Steinway Tower. It's front and center, we have a custom antique polished metal freestanding tub by William Holland. This is the focal point of this space, and it is just so beautiful with the greens of the park and the backdrop there. We've got veined white onyx walls and floors and oversized slabs throughout the entire bathroom. Then we have a white onyx double vanity, and then we have all custom bronze fixtures. And in this bathroom, we have one of those yet again, corner moments here overlooking the entirety of the city, north, east. You can't even see the west from here. Where else are you gonna find this? I'm not gonna get too comfy, but. Damn, imagine soaking in this with that view. And I haven't even shown you the shower yet. So if you don't want to take a bath, you've got a shower room with that onyx on the floors, the ceilings, the walls, everywhere. Two rainfall shower heads, two high level ones, four sprayers on each side, 12 shower heads in this shower room. You even have a mirror built in here on the door of your shower. And then on the other side, we have the true throne right there to get down to some real business. And if all this wasn't enough, the building has some pretty wild amenities. There's a full length heated indoor lap pool, a state of the art gym. I even checked out the men's spa, which has a shoe shining station, a steam room, a sauna, and even a barber shop all in the building. There's so many details and I've only skimmed over a few. Like I just noticed there's inlaid lighting at the trim of the ceiling here. And if you really want to see something special, Look at this penthouse at night.
I don't know about you, but when I see shots of New York City like that, it inspires me to no end. And the beauty of sharing this home here on YouTube is that hopefully it inspired you in some way, not necessarily to buy a $54 million penthouse, but to achieve whatever you want to in life. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Again, a huge thanks to the listing agents for letting us check out this space. And with that, I will see you in the next episode.